Zack, zack. That's a bit German. Following travel developments from Paris, Melinda Labrupulu is in Athens covering Greece's plans. Good to see you both. Melissa, let's start with you. How will this special pass for vaccinated Americans and other tourists work exactly? So the idea, first of all, the priority for Europeans is to be able to get themselves across each other's borders. And what we've seen over the course of the last few months are all these restrictions have essentially made that really difficult. Essentially, the European tourism industry has been at a standstill after that small reprieve we saw last summer, Rosemary. So the priority is to create a European digital passport that will allow people to show that, that they've either been vaccinated or are immune because they've recently had COVID-19 and therefore to be able to avoid the kind of quarantines that have really made things difficult these last mm -hmm. few months. France also now uh, looking uh, beyond May 15th to start reopening terraces, museums, all of those things that have been shut here, Rosemary, since the month of October. The idea is that even as Europe starts to get its vaccination programs uh, a little bit more up and running, trying to improve the pace of those, uh, that at least the free movement of people uh, will begin to increase. And with that, some much needed help for Europe's battered economies. Mm -hmm. It's a great step in the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So it's a great step in the right direction. That means, you know, that's really, um, you know, no matter how small it might be, you know, in at least gradually, we've been actually trying to get our economy back to track, back on the track and trying to actually get back to normal, right? At least we're actually, you know, waking things up. Yeah, this is really the right move, right? Uh, so what has been just said is, you know, and Americans are now, you know, expected to at least receive a special treatment in the case of their vaccination. You know, for, for you know, if you're really American, um, you might actually have a vaccinated, and then you can actually, you know, fill out necessitated documents to obtain the European vaccine pass. Then you might be allowed to go to pa Paris, because if France is really the country that decides to join this move to open their borders to any tourists right now mostly from the european continent and america if these tourists are vaccinated and these if, if these immunization can actually be confirmed then they were probably in the near future allowed to visit france that would be possible but it has been just announced, but you know, not right now, this is only in the preliminary phase because starting from the May 15th, the gradual changes are about to go into effect. So we're not actually seeing this event right now. This would be a, a matter of time when we need to at least you know, wait for a couple of more weeks to see this effect in France. Because, you know, the entire European tourist, tourist section was literally in paralysis, or literally. It truly came to steel stand. The tourism industry was completely suspended, except that very short reprieve during the last summer. That was really the only uh, exceptional period. We actually witnessed the very brief pause that actually opened up doors to many different tourist attractions for a while but that was only a very brief amount of time it's a very interesting because you know after that in initial trial they had to actually shut their doors down again because they actually witnessed a very significant amount of infections growing in their country in and outside the area that's really the reason they had to put an end to the short reprieve right so right now, what France is in a plan to uh, is planning to do is literally um, probably allowing people to visit their country without going through a quarantine period, if and only if these tourists somehow obtain or secure their vaccination st status. All right, that's really the thingy. I don't really need to think twice about it. Let me actually repeat this case. 
uh, France is uh, gradually trying to open up their borders. So the whole notion is allowing people to drop by their countries because France's number one industry is tourism. This is a meal ticket for France. So, as you probably have noticed, uh, last summer's uh, um, very brief reprieve was really the only moment they witnessed what would be the closest to normalcy in the industry. After that, they had to shut their borders down because of excessive growth in the number of infections. And they were devastated after that, right? So the month of October, they actually witnessed another significant surge that completely had the France economy Suspended, right? That's really the case. Because the whole situation came to a still singing to means friends had to grind their economy to a halt because they could not find other mojos. Because they've been greatly preoccupied with the suppressing the number of infections, otherwise this would go out of control further. So any tourists, especially from Americas hmm, or the European continent, they were probably given a OK sign, if and only if they can present the vaccination pass. The Corona vaccination pass is really like immunization card in the traditional sense. If you ever actually attend American public school, the first thing you need to do is, you know, present your immunization card to say that you've been actually fully inoculated against the major um, contagious disease like um, uh, you know, German measles or rubella or meningitis like this, right? Or polio. And just like that, you actually you know some mid vaccination pass. This is really like you know downloading an application, you complete the complete the documents, and that this would actually be confirmed by medical author authority in your country so they can actually guarantee that you've been fully vaccinated this is not really a fraud but you've been actually really given a shot so you you are you know pretty much good enough to be believed to be safe when it comes to affecting other people's or getting infected with the coronavirus and you are good to stay i mean drop by france or you can actually go to roam around in paris without having a 14 days mandatory quarantine. So far, this 14 day mandate quarantine had been a great trouble for many tourists. Who can afford this, right? If you if you really actually want to take a trip to Paris, think about it, you need to actually spend in 14 days in isolation. Would you like to do that? Ah, that's a big turn down and that's a, yeah, that's a deal breaker for many. So no one even actually even thought about, no one even thought about traveling in Paris because of this restriction, right? But now, you know, if you, if and only if you present this vaccine card, right, so-called a vaccine pass, then you're good to visit. You, you're you good to loitering around in Paris without having further restrictions imposed on you because of the coronavirus lockdowns. Because this is really a desperate trial because the entire industry has been on hold. But this is really the lifeline for France. That's really the reason why their sugar daddies from America should have come to France and uh, open up their wallets. That's a very important. That's really the thing. It's a fine. <laughs> what am I missing? I mean, is, is it difficult? I don't really know. At the end of the day, I want an info pass. Info pass will be light. In a short time, not the noon or the in the same way, but in a short time, will be a master trumpeta. So long as he really the input will be against coronavirus, besonders these American tourists or Heiseren oder Heiser, right? Dann können Sie vielleicht ähm, im näheren Zukunft besonders von 
Mai, 15. Mai 2021. Ha, ein Heißen machen nach Frankreich. Diese würde möglich. Ja. Ähm, nicht nun. Ja. Aber diese, diese würde nicht ähm, im Moment, aber im näher Zukunft. Ja, dieser Impfung passt ist äh, eine, eine Bestätigung, eine Urkunde zu bestätigen in der Impfungsstatus. Oh, sie würde voll geimpft gegen Coronavirus und äh, können äh, äh, die, die staatliche Behörde wirklich unterstützen diese Dokumente. Dann dieses Dokument, das ist da, das ist sehr wichtig. Ja, aber oh, ich immer noch bekam eine interessante Nachricht. Ja, interessante Nachricht an diese äh, manipulierte Impfungpasse. Ja, können Sie wirklich kaufen diese Impfungpasse auf dem Internet Netzwerk? Da diese wird möglich, weil das ich nicht. Ja, aber, aber jedoch, Frankreichs eigene Industrie wird voll ruiniert werden, ist das so. Aber, ähm, aber sie wissen, dass, dass Frankreich ja, wirklich, ist, wirklich ein Land ist, dessen Wirtschaft meist von, von Tourismus abhängiger ist. Deswegen, dieser Schritt gilt als das Wichtigste. Wie leid, besonders so, bekommen eine Tourist, ein Tourist oder Heiserin und Heiser ja, aus Amerika mit der Geld. Kling, kling, kaching. <lacht> Dann, ja, diese, ja, diese wird sehr wichtig. Vielleicht, äh, yeah, I, and I, I really I actually omitted this one. Starting from you know May fifteenth, you know museums or tourist attractions could possibly be open to or could possibly be available uh, for many tourists, even actually you know when domestically too. You know inland tourists could possibly actually visit. Or even actually take a visit to these areas, right? So far, you know, group gathering or, you know, any type of uh, crowd would be not allowed. So many of the public spaces were closed. But this could possibly be opened. They could actually resume their businesses. All right. You know, basically, the whole idea is really letting people, you know, cross the borders and, you know, travel or make a, make a visit. Or take a trip to different countries. The, these are really the fundamental notions. Because of this, you know, France expects to see certain growth in their economy, in its economy. Otherwise, you know, the whole system would remain in coma. It's really like vegetated status. Paris is really, um, especially the city that gets fueled by tourists, right? How many people would rely on gastronomy and hospitality? Ah, almost, you know, according to one statistic, um, one statistical data, it was like a more than 70 percentile, literally. I don't know, 60 to 70 percentile, that was really the, the number. Yeah, these are the sehr, 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 aber sehr schwer zu verstehen, ähm, aber nicht inhaltlich, aber diese äh, voraus, äh, voraussetzende Theorie, ja, solange sie wirklich voll äh, geschützt werden gegen Coronavirus durch diese Impfmaterial, dann können sie wirklich freiwillige besuchen im Land wie Frankreich. Dann ist, ist das so gut. Aber wahrscheinlich diese Impfung, diesem Impfmaterial wird allmählich so wirklich reduzieren eine Reproduktion oder Replikation des Virus, das wird ein bisschen prägelig, oder? Aber die, diese Tourist, diese Heise, Heise hin und Heise werden nicht so schwer gekrankt werden. 
oder schwer betroffen werden bei, beim Virus. Das war klar. Aber was kann ich nicht so verstehen, ist, dass äh, diese Nummer, die Produktionnummer, wirklich niedriger gehalten werden bei Massenimpfung. Das ist ein bisschen ja, umstrittener. Wirklich, ich glaube, dass äh, das äh, ein weiterer Recherche bevor er sich hatte. Ja, ist das so? I'm really sorry, but I don't know what else I can actually say that. You know, if I ever actually go back to English, the whole notion is really like you know, allowing people to at least you know, travel freely without actually going through serious, you know, um, bureaucratic red tape. You know, think about it, how cumbersome this might be. You need to at least, you know, stay in this country um, more than 14 days in quarantine. That means you should never be allowed to go step outside this designated place. <laughs> Then after that, you can actually be a free tourist because you've been actually confirmed that you are virus free. That's really, really mm, demanding. So many actually give up their plane because they cannot sustain that status, right? They cannot afford that type of quarantine period, right? And who would like to do that? But, you know, this, this would be a fuel to resuscitate the industry in paralysis. The tourism industry could truly appreciate this new movement, right? So long as you obtain this, you know, digitalized immunization card, which is called the vaccine pass, then you can actually, you know, freely travel across the nation called the French. And isn't that really amazing? But that would actually, you know, go into effect gradually. It is still expected to be the case. But this is really a prediction, but not yet fully confirmed. Not yet. This is in practice. Americans are expected to at least, you know, receive a special treatment to visit France. So long as they obtain this immunization card fully digitalized. So it could actually be up to date to verify it. So, you know, if any French, you know, border controller or any authorities at the airports or at the stations might actually look into this uh, vaccine status. Oh, you've been actually twice you know, vaccinated by Moderna? Okay, like this. You know, your status. And you had no history of being infected with the coronavirus? Mm, then you're good to go. You can actually hop on your TGV. That's a fine. Or you can actually, you know what, get into... The Musée, Musée de Louvre, Louvre, you can actually visit Louvre, that's a fine. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that so? Isn't that so? <laughs> yeah, you know, this time, you know, removal of restrictions would be so amazing, right? Otherwise, how could, how could one ever imagine the resumption of a tourism? As I, as I have already actually mentioned that the main cash cow of a France is really tourism. No matter how you actually you know wanting to focus on agriculture, ah, that's a still secondary. You know, France. What actually gets a France tick is tourism, especially it's a capital, Paris. This the luminaire, la vie, la vie de lumière. This you know, a city of light. Really needs a people to get shine out, right? To get yourself a shine out or to. Have yourself, you know, shine out, right? Is that one? The thing is, you know, starting from May 15th, we could actually expect to see the gradual opening up uh, by removing or lifting up this lockdowns and the closures and even actually inland or even uh, you know, foreign visitors could possibly roam around the cities, the tourist attractions. They could have possibly enter into the museums across the city. And that kind of uh, normalcy could be visible within the near future on the condition that these uh, tourists from America, especially, would uh, have obtained their own vaccine card. Yeah. If they can actually somehow obtain the digitalized vaccine pass, 
then they could be good to stay in France without having 14 day mandatory quarantine. This could be, you know, a, a foregone conclusion. Because so far, that had been the major hurdle to be overcome. No one even actually liked the notion in the past. But now this would be mm, no more headache to many. Because if, if they somehow, you know, if you think about it, if you're living in New York, so you actually, you know, already got vaccinated twice at the Javits Center, per se, then you could have probably think about spending your summer holiday in France. This would be visible. This would be plausible. Isn't that amazing? Without even actually, you know, staying, in, staying 14 days inside a very packed up, isolated middle of nowhere station. That's sort of impossible. Then you must actually you know, fulfill this you know, requirements by cl closely contacting the public health authorities in your country and in the European Union, right? Because they would actually have a network to verify the status. So no one would actually manipulate it by presenting a forgery. Oh, it's a really kind of... Uh, you know, definitely there are people you know, who are really good at you know, manipulating this you know, application so they can actually somehow present in a forgery or a counterfeit. That's a possible, right? You know, I actually you know, saw certain articles saying that there are you know, people selling, you know, infant pasta, uh, that's a vaccine pass, <laughs> you know, on the internet. If you actually go to the internet, you could probably purchase it as a possible. I don't know. I'm not really so sure how refined their technology to detect this type of um, fake one. I'm not really so sure. <laughs> but what what can I say? You know, these are the eine Impfung passer. Das ist digitalisierte Immunisierung Karte. Das ist da wirklich. Es gibt keine sehr neu. Ja, wirklich. Das ist nicht Neues. Etwas Neues. Ich glaube, alles wird der ganze Gleich und yeah, the, uh, there is really saying like that under the under the sky everything is really the same. <laughs> you know, there is nothing serious and new. Yeah, what can I say? This is a really traditional immunization card. You know, the yellowish one you might actually carry. Now, you know, when it's been actually installed in a digital light, then it would be fully up to date. That means it could actually be actualized to be it. This is this fully fully actualized to be it. That's meant in in French. It's called mise à jour. You know, it's tout à fait, tout à fait, sans hésitation et le status est vérifiable, mise à jour. And the means, you know, at the cart, these are cut up with the actualized gerade house. That's meant as to give the kind of unterschiede lia zeite sheeter. That's meant the the behörder können akquirieren oder erwerben the jüngste, the jüngste Informationen, wenn es einen Impfungsstatus oder Impfungszustand gibt, dann diese Person wirklich in moment wirklich nun oder gegen, im gegenwärtigen moment wirklich geimpft würde und diese würde sofort wie möglich bestätigt werden oder beauf, dieser beauftragte antrag für impfungsstatus ist der digitalisierte impfungpass das ist da punkt periode klipp und klar <lacht> ich glaube, bin ich hier ein bisschen Punkte genau. Diese nagelneu oder niegelnagelneu Technologie würde gar keine Kopfschmerzen, nur eine Mittelfinger zeigen wollte. Naja, das würde, was ich wirklich machen könnte.